2x ancients hype let's go what's up guys mtg jedi here and i'm not sure why i'm in the marketplace uh so let's bring it back to oh 2x ancients my favorite time of the year my favorite time of the year 2x ancients and um if you watched my previous video from earlier today you would know that we um we did purchase the ancient pack in the shop not this one the other one if you want that info i will try to tag that above here in just a minute so let's collect our rewards and uh, you can see my full analysis on that in the other video in short it's not bad it's not bad um but you know for science guys we had to do it for science <laughs> right <laughs> all right so do i have space plenty always check your space and um, if you want me to pull shards for you i will be pulling shards on stream if you're watching this the day that i post it it will be tonight over on twitch let's go okay if you have been uh subscribed to the channel you've been watching my shard pull videos you know that we are hurting for some legendary pulls in every shard okay so we should be well along our way on the pity system the mercy system for all of the shards so let's get something good i'm not gonna jinx it by telling you what i want but there are plenty of legendaries that i don't have any non-dupe is a is a win and there are some that are are more wins than others if you know what i mean obviously we all have a list of of legendary champions we would love to get starting out strong with some epics there are definitely some epics deacon armstrong that's a win this guy is going to be great i'm probably going to rank him up and do a video on him we will see but yeah he's good he's real good let's pull up his kit real quick um he has a turn meter increase and a turn meter decrease for the opponents that grants an extra turn i don't think there is any champion in the game that has this type of ability let me know in the comments and then he goes into a decrease uh decrease defense with a hundred percent on a three turn cooldown he has a leech on his a1 who cares he has speed in all battles which is pretty relevant like this guy is legit and i want to build him i want to build him i might put him with a different speed lead like fushan maybe uh, so we get a bigger boost here but this is a really cool ability that i'm looking forward to utilizing so <laughs> uh grunch is that new that might be new as well i'm not sure if i have one of those skull crusher is an outstanding pull and jingle hunter okay now the thing is with two times ancients it really increases your odds of epics significantly that's one of the major reasons to wait but also, you know, obviously it increases your chances for legendaries as well. All right, come on, give me some gold. Uh, my son actually pulled a turbol this morning out of one void shard, like one shard, one dream kind of situation. It was insane. He almost fell off the couch with enthusiasm. It was awesome. I wish I had my camera going all rares after i just got done saying about how good it was <laughs> to <laughs> after i just got done saying uh missionary you are on a mission to be used relic keeper should not be in shards tayrell still one of the best epics um in the game in my opinion same kind of ability as deacon armstrong i believe this is the last 10 pull and we are goldless we are we are so starved for gold on this account i mean not really i have tons of legendaries i'm blessed there it is norog okay non-dupe non-dupe and i like norog i don't know where i'm gonna use him but he's good 
He's immune to stun, freeze, and sleep. Um, and decreases the damage taken by all allies under one or more buffs by 15%. And decreases the damage taken by all allies that are under no active buffs by 25%. So it's passive. And then he has a block buffs. And he has a block cooldown skills. Plus he has a defense in dungeons. Um, and if we come back out and we look at him in the index, no. In the index. So Grunch was new for me. Absolutely, let's go. So if we look at him in the index, you can see his base defense is pretty strong, 1300. And his uh, base HP, 17,000, not bad. His base resistance is pretty good at 50 as well. So Norog, very good champion. He has pretty decent multipliers, and I really like his kit. I've used him on a couple different people's accounts. Um, I mean, I'm still in it to win it, guys. I'm still in it to win it. So let's get in deeper. Let's let's dig ourselves a deeper hole. And, um, I mean, we've pulled a lot of voids, so, I mean, I don't think that we're close to the mercy for voids, but, you know, we're well on our way. I've actually, um, I've spent a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to do with my dupe Anithwi, no, dupe Ethos, which is actually a very good dupe to have. But I built him, I just need to give him a purpose. That was the last Void Legendary I got um, a little while back. Two Sacreds. Let's go. Epic. <sighs> okay. Um, he, I have him. That's my second copy now, I believe. Okay, but he is decent for Orcs. And another Epic. Okay, Mausoleum Mage. Still a very good champion. Uh... I'm not ready. I'm not ready to give up. I'm not ready to give up. I just, I'm, 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 you know, I don't know. If you, if you watch the channel, you know, I, I like popping shards. Let's go for one single and one more 10 pull. And then we will have a bunch of food to level. Then we will have maybe another legendary. Come on. Okay. Mave. And Bone Keeper, not very good. And, all right, well, I don't know. Let's go check my tournament points. Um, if I have maxed out the tournament, I'm good. Oh crap, I'm gonna get an error. Um, we may pull some more shards for my account on stream tonight. Um, depending on the tournament points. I can't check that right now. Uh, it's hard to explain. But uh, so Norog is a huge win, guys. Norog is a huge win. Deacon Armstrong is a huge win. I really wanted both of those champions. I think he looks okay and interesting, I suppose. Not the coolest dude in the world, but his abilities well and well and make up for it. So all right there we go we got some gold we got some good champions and we summoned more than three for sure for sure all right so thank you so much for watching i am mtg jedi come over here on twitch and hang out tonight it's gonna be a blast we're gonna be pulling shards 7 p.m est thank you so much for watching and i hope that you get some gold today as well